Hello and welcome back. We're going to continue looking at Microsoft Office, specifically Microsoft Word. Today we're going to look at tab stops and different alignment options that we have. Um, these are important to get, you know, to become familiar with and everything. So I, what we're going to do is we're actually going to look at Microsoft Word and you know, I'll show you, introduce you to the tab stops that we have available to us. And then we'll actually go and create a document that actually shows you how to use them and how they actually work and how to place them within your document. So let's first jump into, um, you know, our uh, Microsoft Office, which I already have Word opened up with. So, and I'll show you where they're at. So to start with, they're in the upper left hand corner. Um, right here, you can't really see them, so I'm going to zoom in real quick. And you can see that they're right here. I'll put an arrow so you can kind of see where they're at. And they have different options available. So right now we're looking at a center tab stop. Um, as well, we have, you know, a right tab stop available to us. And this will align everything on the right edge. Another one we have available to us is our decimal tab stop. And notice this one differs from the center tab stop because it has that little period. So it'll actually align on the period um, and everything will be nicely um, you know, distributed between that. So it's a really nice one to be using with money and currency. And then finally we have our um, left tab stop which is just kind of uh, like an, an L. So how do we actually go about placing these? Um, you know, it's pretty easy to um, place them as all we can really do, all we really have to do is find the proper tab stop that we want and then just click the location on the ruler that, um, you know, is visible within Microsoft Word. So let's go and actually place a couple of these tab stops to start with. So to start with, we're going to place a, um, a right tab stop at the two and a half inch marker. So the right tab stop, again, is this one. And so I'm going to place this at the two and a half inch line. So I'm just going to click on the ruler. And notice you could see the line that it has. You can move it around. But I'm going to place it at the two and a half inch line. And I'll zoom in so you can, you can see as well. Next, we're going to do a center tab stop. So I'm going to select the tenor, center tab stop here. And I'm going to place this at the three and three quarters inch on the ruler. Again, you just click. And notice, I'll zoom in, that you can see it there. Finally, we're going to place a, another center tab stop as well at the five and a half inch mark. So we've set up our tab stops and everything. Now let's actually go and start putting in data. To start with, we're actually just going to put in some different headings and we'll see how they work. And then eventually we're going to change one of the tab stops to actually being a decimal tab stop so that you can see how this one operates. So let's get back in and start putting in the headings within the document. So we're first going to put in first, just typing in normally, and then I hit the tab key. And notice that my cursor jumps all the way over. And now I'm going to type in last. And then I'm going to hit the tab key again, and I'm going to type in phone. And then I hit the tab key again, and I'm going to put in rate. So you can kind of see this document and notice that everything is aligned nicely within our tab stops. So I'm going to hit enter, and I'm actually going to type in a name to start with. And I'm going to hit tab again. And I'm just going to put in make, make up phone numbers. So don't actually try to call these because they won't work. And you can notice how things are being aligned nicely. Now I'm going to put in the rate. And notice when I put this in, it center aligns it. This is nice, but um, you know, if we, it's four digits that we're putting in, so 10.50. So you know, it works nice because it's being centered. But you'll see in the next line that it actually doesn't work nicely when we only put in three digits, um, such as 9.75. So we'll actually go and fix this and change it so that um, 
you know, it will work throughout. Um, so let's go back in and I'm just going to fill in the rest of the data and you'll be able to then see how these tab stops work and I'll even fix the, um, put in the decimal tab stop so you can see how that one works as well. So let's jump back into Word. So again, I'm typing in the name and I hit the tab key and it moves it over to the next one. Now, as I said, if I put in 9.75, it's centered. It's not nicely aligned within the tabs. Um, so how can we fix this? So we actually want to use a decimal tab stop and it will make everything cleanly aligned, um, centered on the tab stop. So we can come over to our tab stops and we can select the center tab stop again, which is the upside down T with the dot. And so I'm going to put this with rate and I'm actually going to put it right over the other tab stop. So we can actually stack the tab stops. And if you notice, as soon as I put it on, it starts aligning it nicely. Um, but it only did it for this one column. So it doesn't do it, I mean, for this one uh, row, not column, sorry. So it doesn't do it for everything. So the best way is once you have all your data, you can actually highlight it, the data that you want, and then we can put this tab stop in. And notice now everything is cleanly aligned. I'll unselect it so you could see. So notice everything is now cleanly aligned. And if we continue to put data in, the tab stop should maintain and, you know, it will be cleanly aligned. So again, we've looked at your different tab stops, how to place them, how to use them. So again, recall that the tab stops are in the upper left-hand corner of, um, you know, the window. And you just find the one, click through till you find the one you want. And then on the ruler at the top of the page, just click that location that you want it in. And you can move them around after you've placed, and I will jump back in and show you how to remove them as well. So if you want to remove a tab stop, maybe you put in the wrong one, you know, you want to remove it, I'll quickly show you how to do that as well. And so you just hit the tab key and it will move over to the next tab stop. So you know, it's a very efficient way of organizing your document and having things nicely aligned. So to finish up, um, you know, with this quick little Microsoft Office piece, I'm going to show you guys how to remove a tab stop. So let's jump back in um, to Microsoft Word. So I'm just going to place in a, a tab stop that I don't really want. So I'm just going to place in this left tab stop at, or sorry, I guess it's a center tab stop at the two inch marker. And notice how it does change that line of text that we have. So to remove it, you can just get your mouse pointer and hover over it. And notice it does come up saying center tab stop. So it's telling us that that's the center tab stop. And to remove it, all you do is you click. Don't double click. You click and you drag down and it will remove it. And notice that the line goes back to how it um, originally was. And as well, if you want to look at, um, to see if you have tabs, you can click on this backwards P up here, and this will actually show you um, your formatting of your document. Um, you can see right there that you can see your enters, you can see the tab stops. So that's another way of making sure that your tab stops are actually working and you have tabs within your document. So let's, um, you know, kind of review again tab stops. It's a way of easily formatting your document, making things clean. To put them on, you just select the tab stop you wish, click on the ruler, place it on. And to remove the tab stops, all you do is hover your mouse over um, the tab stop you want to remove and just drag it off. So, you know, practice these and get familiar with them. They'll just, they make your life easier and it's kind of a great feature to be using within Microsoft Word. So thanks and we'll see you soon.